Why was Joshua so important in the Bible teachings? Joshua in the Bible began life in Egypt as a slave under cruel Egyptian taskmasters. But he rose to become one of the greatest leaders of Israel through faithful obedience to God. As a successor to Moses, Joshua led the people of Israel into the promised land of Canaan. Joshua followed God's strange instructions for the battle of Jericho. For six days, the army marched around the city. On the seventh day, they marched seven times, shouted, and the walls fell down flat. The Israelites swarmed in, killing every living thing, except Rahab and her family. Because Joshua was obedient, God performed another miracle at the battle of Gibeon. He made the sun stand still in the sky for an entire day so the Israelites could wipe out their enemy completely. Under Joshua's leadership, the Israelites conquered the land of Canaan. Your take home today is that because you have obeyed God as it was in the days of Joshua, so it will be unto you. You will rise above. Psalm chapter 110 from verse 1 to 3 says, The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool to your feet. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your troops will be willing on the day of battle, arrayed in the holy splendor, your young men will come to you like dew from the morning's womb. The scriptures here says you will rule over your enemies. God wants these promises to be literal as he said it. You will take over your enemies. This statement means that you won't just defeat them, but you will keep them defeated. You are going to rule over that depression, rule over that anxiety. You will rule over poverty, you will rule over alcohol, you will rule over anger. You will rise above. God is about to put an end to what is hindering you. You may have struggled in the past, but this is a new day. Because you are going to rule over your enemies. You are the Joshua of your generation. The Joshua generation means you are not going to live like those who went before you. They may have done well, but you are going to live better. Every generation is supposed to increase. You are going to live freer. You will live kinder. You will live more peacefully and more compassionately. You will live more blessed and more generously. This is a promises of the Lord. The scripture says, stand still and watch the Lord show his mighty power. You are not going to have to make it happen. It's not going to be your effort, your strength or your talent, or even your determination. It's going to be the hand of God. He is going to take you to where you couldn't get to on your own. You are not just going to believe for the promises of your life. You are going to see the promises come to pass. You are part of Joshua's generation. That is the teaching for today. You are not going to just dream the dream. You are going to live the dream. You are going to go where no one in your family have gone. You are the Joshua of your family. They may have believed for it. They may have stood in faith. But it never happened. They laid the groundwork, but you are the one that is going to see the fulfillment. The blessings of Joshua is upon you. David says, taste and see that the Lord is good. You are going to taste grapes. You are going to taste abundance. You are going to taste happiness. You will taste the healing and the freedom from God. Now, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, my eternal Father, 
Thank you that you are my ever-present help in times of trouble. Help me to trust in what is unseen. Remind me of the fruit of your power, that you surround me and you are fighting for me. Give me favor and breakthrough in my life. I pray that as Joshua was victorious and ruled over his enemies, help me to rise above my troubles today. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the King of all ages, immortal, invisible, the only God. To you be honor and glory forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Thank you.